manager uh, at Pepco, Stacy Cherie jo Jordan. Stacy, I'm getting it together. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Thank we'll, we'll you. Thank you. My dad, he chose the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cherie, right? It is Cherie, yes. Okay. All right. Just to make sure that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you are the expert of experts when it comes to helping people reduce their energy consumption and, and carbon footprint. Talk about that first before we move on. But when, when you mention the word carbon footprint, what does that mean? Looking at ways to consume energy, to help the environment, improve the environment, um, it's becoming a very big thing. We have a, a plan that we've put together over the next 30 years to try to just make it a better place to be financially, environmentally. Yeah, we, we, we have a plan. So And people don't really know, may not understand because we have such stringent or getting more stringent requirements here in the United States. But if you've ever traveled to a country where environmental issues are not as high up uh, as a, in, in importance as they are here. And you come home with a cough. I just did that. You know, went to visited a country. It's very nice. But I came back so totally congested and wore a mask, not because of COVID, but because of the pollution. And uh, you realize that, you know, what you all are doing there at Pepco to make sure that we all are participating in some shape, form, or fashion uh, is important. It is. And growing up, you really didn't think about it. But like you said, as you start to travel, as you start to engage in different environments and atmospheres, you really see the importance of it. So what? let's talk about consumers. Let's, let's bring it on home into the household. Yes, uh, what are some of the uh, money-saving ideas uh, that you have uh, as it relates to energy costs? Well, our first and foremost go-to answer is turn off the lights. It sounds so easy and basic, but it is very important. And it, you'd be surprised and how much you can save, not just turning off your lights, but in today's society with the, all the modern technology, we, we ask that you utilize the timers and the automatic shutoffs that are provided on your TVs. And, you know, you can put a timer on your light. The weather is changing. It's going to start getting darker soon. You're not home. Put your light on the timer as opposed to running it all day long. We also, we, suggest that you monitor the temperatures on your thermostats. In the winter months, try to keep your thermostat around 68 degrees. In the summer months, we suggest 78 degrees. All of that could truly make a difference. You know, I want to uh, go back to uh, the timers because you can go into households, offices, I'm looking around at ours. We got 30 million things plugged in. Uh, and so, you, you know, you have you have two outlets, but you got 10 things that you need to plug in at the same time. So you get those, um, uh, what do you call them, power strips. power strips. But is there, are there timers that can be used for some of your, um, what is it? For you the know, just strip? the things that we use. Yeah, for the power strip, for the things that we just normally use in our households. Like yes, that they tell us, some people always tell us, unplug this, unplug that. So Pepco has smart power strips, if you will. We have smart okay. thermostats for your meters and in our checkups, our energy checkups, power strips, smart power strips will shut off devices that are not being used. So that there are like six slots on it. If you have a printer plugged in and your computer, you're not using your printer the whole time. It'll kick in when you go to activate that printer. So the smart power strip is definitely a great device to have. And what is the significance of the um, amount of energy? I know I'm getting a little even in the woods here, <laughs> but I mean, when, it, when, we, when we don't unplug these things that we're not using, um, the meter is turning. How does that impact? Yeah, it's still, we're still paying for it. Yes, ma'am. Because it's plugged in. And it, and it adds up over time. It may not seem like a lot, but if you actually monitor your bill, 
you will see the difference over a period of time. As, as the old saying goes, a penny saved is a penny earned. Yes. And it'll make you think about, it'll make you more aware of how you're handling devices and lights in your home. Everything is pretty much electrical now. So when you look at that bill, you start to look at that outlet. You start to look at that thermostat and yes. it does make a difference over a period of time. Yes. So does Pepco have offer any rebates or incentives for customers who either upgrade uh, to more energy efficient appliances or systems? Yes, ma'am, we do. So we have mm -hmm. a residential program. And okay. in this program, we offer quick home energy checkups. And it, it is a no cost way to show you how to use the energy as well as save energy in your home. We have a representative that come that will come out and do an assessment and they will provide suggestions as well as offer light bulbs, shower heads, power strips. You'd be surprised and it's easy to do. You go to our website, www.pepco.com and you click, make it, you, you click into Ways to save, you make your appointment, and within 48 hours, someone is contacting you to come out to do this assessment. So that helps you with the energy checkup. And in regards to appliance rebates, when you purchase new rebates, smart thermos, I'm sorry, when you purchase new appliances, mm -hmm. such things as like our smart thermostats, our water heaters, we do offer rebates with this program, with this residential program as well. Wow. Well, it makes you think um, twice uh, about every every time you plug something in, you know, you need to think twice about it. So this service, it's free yes, uh, for, for the representatives to come to your home and, and do sort of a, an evaluation of, of what how you're using your energy. That's correct. So that correct. that's okay. the checkup piece. That's the okay. quick energy checkup part. But there is an actual home performance with Energy Star program. So the quick energy will help you, will do a quick assessment to show you how to save money, save energy. If you sign up for the home energy with Energy Star program, that's a more comprehensive assessment on your home. And in addition to offering recommendations and products that can be upgraded and installed, you know, they, they go into detail about the various rebates that are offered. So wow. new water pumps, there are rebates, smart thermostats, there are rebates. And by the time you collectively add up all of the products that you can upgrade, you, you can save up to $7,000, $7,500 in rebates with the, with the various appliances that we promote within this energy star program. That's amazing. That I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at, you know, um, particularly as people are trying to upgrade their appliances in their homes and uh, what have you. Um, anything else? What else is Pep Pepco offering consumers that uh, we need to share with our, our viewers? That's on, on the residential side. So mm -hmm. other than the quick home, quick energy home checkups, and the Energy Star program, we also offer services for commercial and industrial businesses. We have small businesses, medium to large businesses, but for the actual consumer, the resident, that's what we're offering at this time in terms of ways to save and ways to you know, better your energy usage. Well, I just told him myself because we're a small business and I talked about all the things we have plugged in around here. So I probably need to make that phone call okay. <laughs> and I'm see how it works. We can talk offline about that. <laughs> I am actually the small business guru, so I'm more than happy to help and put you in contact with the right people. But there are oh, incentives for small businesses as well. Is there, I don't know if we put anything up. Did we put up the website? Because I'd love to know, share. Oh, there it is. And that, is that where people can go to uh, um, access the resources that you're talking about? Yes. And because it's such a broad website, yeah. I, I suggest that you click on ways to save. Once you start with the ways to save icon, all of the information is there from residents to small businesses to large commercial customers. So the ways to save in energy assistance, 
you'll see the icons. They're right there as soon as you go. But the www.pepco.com is the key. That is the prime website. Wonderful. And, you know, we certainly appreciate uh, Pepco sponsoring this segment and you coming on and sharing this great information with us. But, you know, there are a lot of community organizations, ANCs and what have you, just, you know, business associations, church associations, you know, or churches that um, would love to share this information. Is there an outreach program uh, that people can access to have Pepco to yes. come in and, and educate their constituents? Yes, ma'am. So we have a partnership with the Department of Energy and Environment, DOEE. And through DOEE, there is an, an additional partnership with the Greater Washington Urban League. And they offer classes and seminars and sessions to share ways to save. You know, everyone is not internet savvy. And one day we'll all get there. But until that time, we do in-person training and seminars and we have marketing materials that we hand out. So you'll have it on hand. But for the D.C., those are the partnerships with DOEE and the Greater Washington Urban League. If you're a Maryland customer, we have a partnership with the Department of Human Services. So under DHS, they in turn help with the partnership with Maryland Energy Systems Program. And that's ran by the Office of in Home Energy. And that's a lot to absorb because <laughs> the information is also on the website. You know, right. if people are listening, it's like, I live in Maryland, I live in DC. But the main partnerships are with the Department of Human Services, um, as well as the Department of Energy and Environment. But that's when the tiers start to break down and you can work with the Greater Washington Urban League, the Salvation Army, the Office of Home Energy. There, there are many, many programs out there that will help with assisting as well as advising in how to save. Wonderful. And uh, just technical, I'm getting the technical again here, Stacey. No you mentioned what the summer uh temperature should be that we should try to maintain on our thermostats. And you also mentioned uh, during winter that that temperature. When is a good time to change it? I mean, what, what should people consider? I know it's your body and when you're too hot or too cold, but uh, sometimes, you know, our, our, our summers last longer, our winters are shorter. Um, is there a typical time? Because Or does Pepco have a period when it begins to you know, are there summer rates and winter rates? That's what I'm trying to get to. And how are we in sync with Pepco's calendar? So the actual date on the the various rates, I am not sure. But my rule of thumb and the way that I was always trained and taught, April, oct. So from April to October, you start to think summer rates. Novi March, November to March, you're looking at winter. Great. Okay. Anything else you want to share with us? Other than, you know, we have these programs out here. We have these incentives. We have these measures. We are always here to help. Again, there is the website, but please feel free to reach out to us. We have a community engagement team. We have the energy efficiency team. We participate with various partners around the area. We're always willing to talk to a consumer and see how we can help because at the end of the day, we're customers too. So I totally understand and I'm always willing to help. Well, I think that's that's fantastic. And we appreciate you joining us today. Um, you know, between our gas, electric and water, uh, those are things that we cannot live without in living in homes <laughs> and, in the, and, and things that, you know, are becoming more costly every day, yes, but there's a way we can manage that. And that's yeah. why I, I'm so appreciated, so appreciative of Pepco being with us today to talk about how best to manage it and how to save money. Well, we thank you for having us and we're always here to help if you have any questions. And don't forget, you can reach out to me about the small business as well. So residents are very important, but so are businesses. Okay, well, I'm going to have a testimony. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And All we right. do a big check presentation. So we would love to put you in there for one of our testimonials. 
Okay. All right. Well, we'll make that happen. We will definitely make that happen. I appreciate you for being with us and uh, have a great day. Thank you. You have a great weekend and enjoy the rest of CBC. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you so yeah. much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.